We're here in Lytle Creek for the Southern California Military Vehicle Collectors Club annual event. This annual military swap meet and car show and trail ride goes every first week of October. This is where we can all get together, camp out, and show our stuff. For more information, go to www.scmvcc.com. As I rolled into the Bonita campground, I could see all the vendors and all the military vehicles all lined up, all everybody out there having a good time. I parked Slumdog and started taking a look around. Boy, was I in hog heaven. Man, I need one of these. I'm here today at the Bonita Campground with Lieutenant Dan, the president of the Southern California Military Vehicle Club. Well, welcome, Ernie. This is a beautiful Bonita Camp uh, here in Lytle Creek. And we're here for, uh, well, we've been here, we'll be here for five days. Uh, we've got uh, over 60 sites uh, booked uh, with uh, vendors and uh, gosh, we probably got over 30 vehicles, military vehicles here. Uh, we've uh, uh, set up to do a uh, two o'clock uh, dirt run this afternoon. We're going to be heading up into the mountains and uh, checking out some of the fire roads up there with, with our military vehicles. Uh, so we should have a good time. Well, we had a great dinner last night. Uh, our local Melody's Place, which is right up the street in Scotland, uh, they uh, catered our dinner last night. We had fried chicken and uh, uh, ribs and fantastic meal. Uh, we're doing hot dogs for lunch today and hamburgers this, after, uh, this evening for dinner. So uh, if you get a chance, come on up. We'll be here again next year, first weekend in October. And we have camp in here? Yep, we've still got campsites available. There's, uh, I think there's 69 campsites up here. Uh, most of them with uh, electricity and water, uh, and so we've got room to expand. Uh, so we'll we'll be here again next year. And uh, active swap meet going on right now. Yep, we've probably uh, three quarters of our campsites have all got active military uh, equipment and uh, uh, vehicle equipment, uniforms uh, for sale uh, here in here in the campground. All right, and uh, this is the vehicle that I brought up that I own. Uh, this is a uh, uh, a vehicle that was built for the Marine Corps, specifically for them. It was a mission-specific vehicle. It was designed to support the 120 millimeter mortar and the mortar team. This particular one is called a light strike variant. Uh, it's, uh, to, it's a squad support vehicle, so it's a four-seater, but it's also capable of towing the mortar or the ammunition trailer if it needed. They also made a uh, 1163 model, which was just a uh, two-seater, and that was designed as the prime mover for the artillery piece, uh, the mortar, and then you'd have a second one that uh, towed the ammunition trailer for the mortar. And the uh, neat thing about this is it's called an ITV, internally transportable vehicle, 
because the roll cage comes off of this. Uh, there's normally a, a machine gun ring mount on the back. That all folds down and this vehicle with either the gun in tow or the trailer in tow can be transported on the V-22 Osprey. It's the only vehicle that's ever been certified to fly on the Osprey. So three Ospreys can bring in a 120 millimeter mortar team uh, and drop them and have them firing within about five or six minutes. Cool. So it's a neat vehicle. It will do, uh, well, I drove it out here. It'll do 70 miles an hour, 75 miles an hour on the freeway. Sweet. Uh, very roadable machine, drives real nice. And this afternoon, we're gonna take it up and get it dirty. All right. Does it have independent uh, suspension? Independent suspension. It has airbags on all four corners. They're Fox shocks. Uh, so it has an air ride system controlled from inside. Uh, right now it's in the highway configuration. When we get ready to leave, I'll inflate all of the airbags up to the off-road extreme height condition. And then it has an emergency kneeling position when you load it into the Osprey, where the bags completely deflate and it goes completely down onto the bump stops. Wow. Uh, Four-cylinder diesel engine. Can we take a look? You bet. And this uh, vehicle was built by General Dynamics and they created a growler division in order to build these. They built uh, just over 400, 470 of these uh, vehicles. The Either the light strike uh, var variant, this one, the long wheelbase, and uh, they built 280 of these and about 180 of the short wheelbase. Uh, this is a four cylinder diesel engine uh, built in Brazil by MV MWM, which is the company down there in Brazil, and it's under license from International Harvester. So this is an international designed engine. It has a four-speed uh, GM uh, overdrive transmission. It has a Rubicon transfer case, so it's four to one gear ratio in there. Uh, it's uh, uh, got lockers front and back, so it's a very capable off-road vehicle. And the other nice thing is the windshields fold down like the good old Jeeps did. Ah, right on. <laughs> Outstanding. All right. Thank you. Take a walk around. They, they loved them. And they were great for the mission that they were designed for. But then they, uh, they changed their... Yeah, I got to lower the thing. Uh, then they changed their mission. And they no longer were going to support the uh, mortar, the 120 millimeter mortar in this configuration. So that was when they, the, the Marine Corps decided to get rid of all of these. <laughs>
Rover chassis. Cool. Uh, basically like the precursor to the Land Rover one ton. Uh-huh. Built later. Um, it's fully armored. It's got the turret. Sweet. What year is it? Um, it's titled as a 65, but I uh -huh. think it's a little later. Uh-huh. What kind of engine has it got in there? It's a straight six. A straight six, huh? Can we take a look? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Probably a little bit dark in there. Uh -huh. I can open up the hatches. Right. Still got a lot of parts sitting in there, but yeah, you got your cool. uh, your driver's seat, your your you know passenger, and then there's another seat here for your gunner. Nice right hand drive too, huh? Sweet. So let's see if it wants to start for that. There's your gun right here. It's like you stick a broomstick out there. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> What was your name? Dan. Dan, where are you from? San Diego. All right, thanks Dan. Thanks for showing that to me.
1,400 hours, it was time for the event. We would drive a Sheep Canyon Trail on the Lytle Creek Ridgeline. It would provide spectacular views of the Inland Empire and the Mojave Desert. Up on the ridgeline, you can see pretty far. 
To our left, you can see the Mojave Desert, Barstow, Victorville, Cajon Pass, Route 66, and the 15 freeway cutting through the middle. And up ahead, we can see the mountains, Big Bear, Arrowhead, and Palm Springs in the distance. Back to suburbia I went. I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs>